Alright guys, I made the mistake of uh, turning on my GoPro the other night when I caught a fish. So, tonight, I actually landed the fish instead of losing it. Maybe let this guy go. Okay guys, welcome back to another episode or installment or call it what you will. It's not important. The important thing is that you are watching unfiltered fishing. So, uh, the fish have been extremely camera shy the past few nights. Uh, we got some video of them hitting, but we had some really good nights that I didn't get fish on video because they just wouldn't hit when the camera was rolling. So the next video is going to be a little bit of a compilation and I didn't really have time to film an intro so I'm just going to do the intro now while I'm sitting here fishing trying out an after, after work shot for about an hour here just to see if there's anybody home. Uh, Alright so this moral, well not the moral but the story for the past two nights was to retrieve speed. So you know rather than me just sit here and show you guys video of me catching the fish. I'd like to explain what's going on, when it's going on. Uh, so I know I put a video up that I use at extremely slow speed in the spring. The past couple of nights, that's kind of changed a little bit. Four nights ago, they wanted it on a very, very fast retrieve. Three nights ago, they wanted it on a medium retrieve. Oh, I just got hit. <laughs> Alright, well, there's something there. And last night, they wanted it back on that slow retrieve. So, I'm going to go over all those retrieve speeds and show you guys exactly what I mean. And I guess the moral of the story here is that, uh, don't get too hung up. You know, switch your retrieve speeds. Switch the way you twitch it. Maybe don't twitch it once in a while. Do a slurry retrieve. You know what I'm using now is an SP man. I want it, it, it's a jerk bait. You know, jerk baits are kind of made to be jerked. So let me give it a couple more casts and then I think I'll go over to that retrieve speed thing that I wanted to show you guys. Or well, maybe I'll just do them all in this next cast here and I'll point the camera down keep my light on real here and you guys should be able to see what I'm talking about all right so like I said the first night and you'll vary it you know you vary it find what they want I don't like the fish with my light on but I will do that so the first night let me just catch up I'm just catching up with the plug here the first night they want their own to retrieve like this which is way faster than I'm usually comfortable throwing it They wanted it on about that fast to retrieve, gave it the twist, it hit it on the pause, it hit it on the retrieve. The second night they wanted it on a medium retrieve. A little, a little more, and you can see them still throwing that twitch in because they hit it a lot on the twitch. And they hit it on that, that medium retrieve. And on the last night they wanted it on that slow retrieve sometimes they say if you, if you think you're reeling too slow real slow <laughs> just giving it that twitch and that's uh that about basically covers what I wanted to talk about in that aspect of the past few nights and we'll get to the next aspect that I wanted to talk about in a minute. Alright, so the next aspect I wanted to talk about was the moon phase itself. I do not like fishing on any moon. Whether it be new or full, I've never had much luck. Two days before and two days after, or I should say the two days leading into and the two days behind it. That is one I have probably done the best. 
So the moon is definitely not my favorite to fish. That being said, the bite got better those first two nights. So definitely stick to fishing around the moons. Important. If you have to, you know, can only get out once, twice a month, try to get out those nights. One day before, two days before, or one day after, two days after each one. That night, that the first video that I put up with the larger fish, that was one day before the moon. On the moon we went back, no fish. No fish, no bait. Gone on that new moon. The night after that was the night when we filmed when both me and Nicole Bolt got those 30 pound fish. And those fish were there, they were in and out in a, a tide. The next night they were gone. There was no two days after. It was one day after and that was it. I went back to the next night, had one hit. And those fish were ghost. Now before the moon, this moon that we're on now, this full moon, we're doing pretty well until that northwest wind kicked in and that, as soon as it started, the bite started to slow down and that was basically it. The next night, very, very slow. You know, there was fish there, but again, the night before that, the night, the night that it shut down, the night before the moon and the night before that, there was a ton of bunker back here and the fish were coming up with a bunker in their throats and I got some video of that that I'll add to this and uh, that's it I'm going to go back to fishing a little bit now and not standing here talking to myself um, that's it and uh, hopefully these fish are, won't be camera shy tonight and I can get a couple more on the actual video there we go we'll be hooked up how about that doesn't feel like a very big fish but hey Something for the video for tonight, huh? <laughs> I didn't actually get him in. I think I've learned my lesson about keeping the GoPro on here. He did it. And he got me in the waves. And then he put me in the fucking hand. And off he goes. Okay, perfect. Terrific. Isn't that great? I'll have to fix that tomorrow morning. Cool. Okay, the water's not any higher than that. Mm, that's a nice big hole. That's all right, we'll get a patch on that. That'll be fixed. Of course, at least it's above the water tonight. And it's already going down. <laughs> Help. If I wasn't a mess, it wouldn't be a mess, would I? School week, that's my mess. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Ah. All right, well, I got a fish for video, and he put a hole in my waders. Cool. Uh, <laughs> and, he, uh, and he happened to hit it on that slow retrieve, pretty much all the way at the end of my cast. <laughs> uh, terrific. The little beans are getting tougher and tougher to find. Mm -hmm. As I said, camera shy fish. Awesome, swim right into my leg. Nah, he's not bad. Ooh, never mind, he might be good. I can keep him on the damn hooks.
My fish just ran right in front of the line. <laughs> Huh? No, he was he was he was out there pretty far. Feisty though tonight, man. They're all over the place. grass to work on this time. Yeah, they're pecking at the back of it. He's hooked in the back. Journal of a little fish. Nice, easy. Coming right in front of you. Yeah, you'll get more. Short and fat, just like me. I think he has the one. Hmm. He definitely don't have the he definitely don't have the length, but he's got the weight. <laughs> he's out in front of you. Good, Dan. Down, down. Look, if you slide them up over here, you can get them up the bank. You know, could do that too. <laughs> God damn, Nicole. guys uh, like this video uh, please you know hit that like button and if you want to see more future content like this and you like this content please hit the uh, 
subscribe and smash that uh, bell notification. Uh, you know, comment down below. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you, do you like these videos? You, you know, you want to see more? How do you guys work your energy and speed? You know, let me know. I'm always willing to learn from somebody else. So uh, until next time, guys, I'm going to say uh, just keep fishing. Later.